This is gonna be so awkward. So incredibly, incredibly awkward. Um, this is my first time trying to make a video and um, I go by Suki or Toothy online and this is gonna be a little wardrobe video. You, you can tell it's gonna be bad. I've been in Lolita for about five years, so I've had quite a lot of time to accumulate what I have. I'm doing this without a script, and God, it really just puts you on the spot. I've been doing this about five years, and so I've had quite a lot of time to invest in my wardrobe. Um, I, I love seeing Lolita like wardrobe tours, so that's where I'm like, I'm gonna do it. This year is gonna be the year. I've had so much time to be inside, and this year one of my roommates moved out, so I was able to take his room and have it become my Lolita room slash office. So I've had the time to actually set up a standing rack, which um, maybe I'll do like a tour video if I get really inspired with you know successfully doing one or two videos. Um, So I'm just gonna go down my uh, rack. I have around 35 dresses, maybe a little bit more main pieces. Um, I've got some coming in the mail that haven't been delivered yet because you know we've all been inside and looking on lace market and all those kind of places and uh, money go bye bye. Yeah, so I'm just gonna start. Um, I have it organized by brand. I have it organized by. Uh, color mostly, but I, I mix things up and I swap it so I have tops on top of JSKs underneath to save on hanger space. And I used to have my necklaces on top of them too, but I recently got a necklace rack so I've hung up all my necklaces separate so they no longer are on there, which is good because less cluttered. Um, this is a dress by Cat's Broom. And it's got the name tag of the bread, that's why I left it like that. And this is probably one of my favorites right now. We've got the most beautiful um, retro toy design on the bottom. And it's got mixed color buttons going up the top. And I've got an AP cut sew underneath with Lyrical Bunny. Um, to really play up with its pastels and the vibrant colors in the skirt. I don't know why they chose to do such a muted pink for the ribbon when the skirt has such like vibrant pinks mixed in with it. And it's got like rubber faced like plushes and like a Tamagotchi like look alike, some dolls. Um, I collect a lot of retro toys myself so when I saw this I really wanted it. Um, I saw it on Lace Market so I definitely paid more than like whatever like Tabla brand charged for it. Um, but as soon as I saw it, I knew I wanted it. Um, yeah. All right. This is another one. Um, like in the front, I have my probably the most like saturated with like multicolored um, design JSKs in front. I love that it's got a big heart in the front with um, the bear. It's just such a high quality print where you can really see all the blendings of the colors in the bear. Um, there's a lot of different laces going on, and sometimes that bothers me because I think, really, you know, you should stick with one lace theme. Usually, I feel like, because like stars, hearts, it's like a lot of things going on. But I really like the way this one looks because I think the skirt is so busy, it allows for that. It's just such a high quality print. And the artist did a really good job with this one. Um, I don't know all the names of all my JSKs, but I do have it written down in um, in a Google Doc, so I can pull those up and put them on top of the video if I'm smart. Next up, we've got um, Alice and the Pirates, Melty Mermaid. That one I knew, I think. Um, this one's awesome. It's it's an OP. I only have three OPs, um, and I'm wearing one of mine right now. Um, and it's mermaid themed. I love mermaids. Um, ever since watching Peter Pan, it's like a young girl 
I've always really been into like Disney's old VHS classic cartoons and Mermaids just really hits it the spot for me. But it's beautiful. It's got like this aerial story going on where she sees him in the ship. She's under the sea talking on her shell phone. Um, it doesn't have any shearing in the back, so that's something to know. But it does have the cross up in the front, like um, neckties, which I love. It's really pretty. I really like the bodice. And it's in cream. That's a lot of things in cream. Next up, we've got maybe the star shining bright. I keep looking under the bus, but. It's not like the name's gonna be there on all of them, but um, yeah, we've got Baby and the, Sh the Star Shine Bright. I think this one's called. God, I'm. I really should just cut this out where it's like me trying to remember the names, but it's like Alice's Trick and Treat Party, maybe. I don't know. I really like the way the laces are tied up in the front. Oh, except for that one, not tied in the front. But um. Yeah, I like that all the like color popping details on this one are pink on top of ivory. I think that's a really cool combo. I don't think there's a lot of that. But I love all the like little Halloween costumes. I really like the fabric too. It's just like really nice thick cottony material. And I have this paired with uh, a thrift store blouse. Most of my um, most of my blouses are off brand and thrifted. Um, I just I go thrifting a lot, a lot. Like I have said, I collect retro toys, and I and my main source of that is going thrifting. I really love what I can find secondhand, um, and in a way, waste market is thrifting. But I really enjoy finding blouses there, and I I think I've been in the fashion long enough that it doesn't look too neato when I wear. Um, the right blouses with the right outfits. Here's another Taobao brand um, one. I'm trying to see if I can find the name of the brand. I'm not seeing it. But um, this one's amazing. I've got it paired with a Lauren Cronrad top I thrifted that I thought looked like it was very Lolita esque. Um, and it is the morning breakfast toast collection where every single toast is a little bit different in its design. I really like it. Um, some of them are really weird with what they've got on them, but my favorite one is probably this one where it's just like they've melted marshmallows and put it on a slice of bread. Like, I don't know who eats that way, but uh, good for them. I love that idea that you just put a bunch of like vaguely toasted marshmallows and then just squish it onto a piece of toast. It's funny. I love bread. Big, big bread love in this house. Um, this one's a meta dress, metamorphose. Tim's de, Tim's de la fille. But God, I don't know how to say that. I think I added an extra lee in there somewhere. Anyway, you can tell I've never had to say it out loud. Um, this one's really cute. It's like a swan lake, and there's like a little castle in the background. There's little swans. There's horses pulling a carriage. And they've got a really nice details that are like little pink sparkles. This is an ivory as well. And I paired it with a light green top, again thrifted, because I really like the way it makes the background green and the tree line pop. It kind of looks a little gray on camera, but I promise in person it matches pretty well. Next up, we have one of my doing dresses. It's Honey Cake. It's the made to order uh, re release that uh, Angelic Pretty did. You hear me talking to the camera and is immediately like, oh my god, what are you talking about, mother? Tell me more. Um, so this is one of those ones that they got re-released. It was originally in cotton and then it went to polyester like everyone knows. Um, god, I really love the syrup maple bear, the honey bear. 
Uh, and I'm, I'm a big breakfast motif fan. Like, obviously, I like toast uh, series and I like breakfast. I have the purse that matches this along with all the jewelry. Um, it's so nice having the full collection. I don't have a lot of full collections because all of my Lolita is almost exclusively bought secondhand. But this one I ordered when it came in the re release. Alright. Hush, child. Hush! Hush! Next up, we've got Angelic Pretty. Um, God, I never. Like, you can tell, I've, I've, I've not memorized names of dresses, but this is um, what I call alien kitty because the kitties look like little aliens or little moogles, depending on who you ask. I really love this. I got to twin it with one of my friends, uh, Anna, from my com and uh, long distance comic. <laughs> long distance comic. Long distance twinning. Um, I don't know, it gives me a lot of inspiration when people are willing to work with me and, you know, make, make more things. Um, and I really wanted to have it actually in the mint and lavender colorway. I know it's not as popular as the classic colorway, which I think had pink and like baby blue and yellow. But I love mint and purple. Like I exclusively want to get more mint and purple in my wardrobe. I know it's not a popular colorway because it's very hard to cord mint and some purples because usually they're all varying shades versus pinks that you can usually get away with matching a little closer. Um, but I want, I want more. I think mint mint is a really good underrated colorway. Um, this is another Taobao dress. Gosh, I think this one. I, I recently cataloged all my dresses, but it doesn't mean that any of the names stuck. But I think this is Bobo Rabbit something. Um, but I really liked it because it's got a bunch of like cosmetic um, items, like the hairbrush that has little hearts on the end of its bobbles, the straight iron, the soap, the soap dispenser being the bunny, the little curling, curling um, rods. And again, I like that it's got multiple colors going on. Right now I have it paired under um, a metamorphose uh, cutso. That's the word. And it's a birthday cake cutso. It doesn't really quite match the colors, but there's like some teals, some pinks. Close enough, right? Um, very pretty. Very affordable. That's what I like about it. I like having varying brands in my wardrobe because then I don't feel like um, I'm pigeonholed into wearing only a certain style of dress or only a certain uh, level of made-upness. You know, I can be more dressed down if I want to be. Although I'm definitely not a lifestyle Lolita. I'm definitely an event-based Lolita where I do it when I want to because I want to and less daily. Another dream dress that I can't think of any of the names because I'm just kaputs, kaputs in the brain. Um, but this is all cotton and it's got an inbuilt petty and it's got the most amazing print. It's got mermaids and seahorses and angelfish. I really like aquariums too. Oh my god, it's just so beautiful. Like the color, the colors in this is just stunning. Simply stunning. I love her. She's beautiful. Super beautiful. I, I hunted for a long time to get this one. Uh, yeah. I haven't had a chance to wear it yet because it's, it's very extravagant. Alright, and next up I've got Toy Museum. This one I know because I haven't worn it yet. Um, then I bought it brand new, one of the few that you know, made it through the cracks. Min, do you want out or do you want to just yell? Meow. I'm gonna let you out see if that helps. See you in a bit. Um, I don't know if you can love the collar it came with. Oh, it's just so beautiful. <laughs> oh, I love that. I don't like the bow placement because it hides the beautiful collar. I might move that. Um, 
Yeah, this is an Amai Akira night. Amai, Amai Akira print. Again, never had to say any of this out loud. Um, and I understand it wasn't very popular for some reason, even though I think it's amazing. I bet you got teddy bears and cloches and they're all like the old style of toys, you know, where they've got like the colored beaded eyes and... Mm, I love it. I think it's beautiful. Simply, simply amazing. It's got test tubes full of little, little sparkles. God, if I can, if I can just... Yeah, like different colored little rocks. Oh, so cool. I love it. I love, uh... For me, it gives me more like laboratory vibes with the cloches where it's like, oh, they're being experimented on. I don't know. Maybe they're just being preserved in the toy museum. All right, so next up, this is one of the more judgeable tops I've paired with this. This is Happy Garden, I know that much, um, by Angelic Pretty. And I've got it in the pink JSK. And the bunnies are adorable. I love the color of green on this. Like, it's not mint, but it's like the super like bluey green, baby green ugh, clovers, and they've got like little, little tufted uh, clover flowers. Ugh. And I've paired it with a top I found thrifting. It looks, again, like this is a lot more yellowy pink versus this bubblegum pink, but I promise in person it's a lot closer of a match. Um, and I paired it with the, the Happy Garden because I thought the bunnies and the fluff I don't know. I like it. I haven't had a chance to wear um, this one out yet, yet either. Maybe with Easter. Alright, next up. We've got Be My Valentine, I think it is. Um, and I've got this OP in pink. I didn't plan to get this, but I really, really loved it. I just was... I'm, I'm intimidated by the Angelic Pretty Blood Baths. I'm not gonna lie, I find them horrifying and terrifying. Um, I think I think if you're brave enough to do them, that's amazing, good for you. I've only tried to do it a couple of times, and every time I do it, I just get nervous as all heck. Um, and not really ever done it successfully. Um, but this is Be My Valentine. They had one OP left in the Angelic Pretty store when I went for a meet with my com. And we all stopped by the Angelic Pretty uh, San Francisco store. It was pretty great. Um, so I just snatched her up. It, I had to try it on in the um, fitting room and when they were still letting that happen. And it just barely fit. You know, it was like, and I, was, I asked the shop girl if they could help me zip me up. And I was like, it's okay, don't force it if it doesn't fit. And she's like, no, no, it'll fit. And she got me into it right away. So I was able to do it after that without her help. But it was the first time I was like, I don't know if I'm going to fit into a, an Angelic Pretty OP. And um, I got lucky. I don't think I fit into most um, OPs, but I got lucky with this one. It's just, the measurements are just enough for my postage. All right. Next up, I've got another unusual thrift store dress, or uh, not thrift store dress, thrift store blouse matched with this dress. Um, this is uh, the lower round cut, I think it's called. And, um, gosh, Magic Princess Castle? Again, I haven't memorized the name and I... Shame, shame on me for not memorizing the names. Um, this one gives me hella magical girl vibes, uh, Disneyland vibes with the little blue castle. Then please, please just stay in or stay out. Stop doing this in between. Come in. Come in. I'm not gonna have the door open. It's part of my background. Alright, so what was I saying about this? Um. Magic crystal surround castle thingy. Um, I really like this brooch. I got this off Lace Market and I pinned it on because it gave me the vibe of like the castle with the horses. Mm. Oh, it's got glitter in the print too, which is amazing. I got this, I think, like a little bit before Magic Princess became suddenly very popular. Um, 
so I think I didn't pay a lot for it. Alright, next up, this is one of the oldest pieces I have, and it's Emily Temple. Um, so cute. I don't know the name of it off the top of my head, um, but it's got velveteen straps that are pink, super soft. Same with a little matching bow in the front. And it's got little mushrooms, little Amanita mushrooms all over it. And then it's got the most beautiful, let me shake it out, most beautiful, come on, beautiful print of Bambi. And then two little bunnies. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I got this from Alolita, who was downsizing her wardrobe, I think. Um, yeah, downsizing her wardrobe. And um, there was a little bit of a mix up, so she ended up giving me this for a better price than it should have been, but um, with shipping. But um, I still got it for an amazing price. I see it on Lace Market all the time for like a hundred bucks and below. I don't understand why, because it's so beautiful. It's so simple with the little mushrooms and the anime print, and it's got full back shearing. It's super comfy. It's one of my comfiest dresses. And I've had a lot of fun cording this. I was thinking about wearing this dress for um, today's video, but I decided I wanted to wear something a little bit more extra for first time. Gotta be, gotta be stand out. All right, next up, we've got uh, another one. I haven't worn it, it's still got its tag. The Beatrix Potter, and I think it's Innocent World collab. Um, I love Beatrix Potter. I I grew up watching the VHS adaptations of the storybooks. Again, it's like whatever I saw in childhood I loved. I love the illustrations and the cameo windows. And I like the very simple design to it. Um, yeah, it just gives me like English cottagey wife vibes. I love it. I haven't worn it yet. I want to wear it. It's beautiful, but simple, understated, classic. Alright, next up. Hmm, I don't know what you're called. I just know you're beautiful. Um, I know it's an Alice in the Pirates print. Who else would have Alice as a pirate in a print? I think it's just called like something like Alice in the Pirates, like JSK. It's something simple. I didn't have this necklace. This is one of the few necklaces that stayed on the the mannequin because I thought it would look better that way. Um, so it's got some beads. Got a little hair bow I plan to wear with it. It's pink. It's got that old school thick fabric. I just love the little cameos at the bottom. It's the same as like Melty Mermaid wear. It's just got really extravagant border print. It's beautiful. The cat wants to be let out again. Go ahead and just go in or stay out. Like, I'm staying. I'm kind of sure. She's staying out now. Um, yeah, the most amazing border print. My favorite one has like the seahorse but not in the way you'd expect a seahorse there it is um, where it's got little fins under its hooves and a seashell for backing it's crying it's a unicorn too and just beautiful 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 it's got this really weird backing to it where it's supposed to be corseted through the, the lace and I haven't quite figured out how to do it. I've worn it, but I wore a cardigan over the back of it, so I didn't have to mess with that. So one day, uh, someone more advanced in Lolita will show me the way. We've got Alice and the Pirates, and I think this is Tricky Nightmare Factory, JSK. And it comes with this beautiful check ribbon and chocolate and a little charm hanging off. I really like spooky sweets. Um, and so it's like a factory floor line where all the little sweets are getting produced. And it's beautiful. Ooh. Ooh. 
I love her. She is beautiful. I really like to get this in the black colorway too. I think that I have like the same vibe going on with this dress as this dress and I think I like this vibe of this dress in red better and I think I would like the factory vibe a little bit more if it was in black. Uh, at the time I purchased this, I thought this was going to be the superior colorway. I just, I feel like this does that for me and I want this in black. So if you know someone who wants to trade, this one's in good condition. All right, next up, another Taobao brand Lolita dress. And this one, I think is called Amanita Girl. Something, 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 something. Um, and I don't know the brand, Oop, but I still have the tags on it, so I should. Uh, Reeve Irum. I mean, it's it's pretty pretty simple. It's cottage core, wifey, mushroom head, forest girl, in maid outfit. Some of the time with little apron, not maybe outfit, apron, apron outfit. It's amazing. I love it. Paired it with um, a dot sleeve blouse, off brand, of course. Um, to match her little, little sprinkles on her forehead. I haven't worn it yet because it still has a tag on. All right, next up, this blouse really needs to be ironed and steamed, so don't judge me too hard on this. The Wild Fable Target line. I really liked that this one had a um, little pointed collar. But this is the real main piece. The piece de la resistance. Maybe one of the most expensive dresses I own um, that I paid for, anyway. I don't know, like current market values on all this, but this is probably the most I paid for a Lolita dress. This was second hand diner doll in red. For me, like the red and white check of the diner print is just amazing. Oh my god. And then it's got an inbuilt petty and it's cotton. It's amazing. The um, lace print is just a simple dot lace. But um, she is stunning. Beyond belief. Beautiful. I love her. Next. A strawberry print and this is the Alice girl I want to say strawberry queen print I saw a lot of Lolita's have this and um, you know it's no small surprise I wanted it because it's got magical girl vibes I mean look at this little this little, 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 little frosting wings off the side of the straws amazing it's got a pink check background um and little buttons or strawberries. I paired it again with another off brown blouse. Big surprise. Um, it's got some old school lace kind of vibes with some old school lace kind of vibes. Although now that I'm holding it up, you can very clearly see that this is an off white and this is more of a pure white. Say Libby. I mean, to each their own. Okay, maybe I lied with my most expensive dress because this this is up there with Diner Doll. Um, yeah, um, racking my brain for what this is called, even though it's one of my most expensive dresses. Doll's Tea Party, that's what it is. It's like Cat's Tea Party, I think? Yeah. Anyway, big surprise, rubber face plush doll. Um, needed it, needed it immediately. Um, this is, sorry, the waist tie and the headpiece. And then I've got a little flowered Betsy Johnson necklace on it. Somehow escaped the ravages of me putting everything on my necklace rack. Um, the necklace matches the little flower motifs on the, um, I want to say cutlery, but that's not it. The porcelain dining wear. And I just, this is another uh, Amai Cura print where it's beautiful. It's stunning. All the illustrations are 10 out of 10. I really want with my new Lolita room. God, can you hear that buzzing? I really want to get um, some Amai Kira um, art prints up on my wall for this room. The pigtails are just out of control. Out of control pigtails. All right, next up, we've got another Angelic Pretty. Never worn. But I got it secondhand from someone who had never worn it either. Hmm. Um, this is, I think, aquarium jewelry. And 
like the mermaid prints. I really love it because it's got angelfish and the most beautiful jewelry. Some harps mixed in there because why the heck? A harp is a jewelry apparently. Um, beautiful betta fish. Some guppies. Beautiful tail fins. Mm. Just beautiful, beautiful details. And I love this little uh, headdress piece that it came with. Where um, it's just beautiful. I love it's tiered. And I have a blue knock brand blouse. Surprise! Alright, next up. Oh, time to remember the name of the name of my dresses. Alright, so I know the brand is Violet Fane. Antique doll something. This one's been modified. I bought it pre-modified. I don't know how they modified it. Um, I don't really know what the stock dress looks like. I bought it secondhand because I really loved the way it looked. It had dolls on it and I like dolls. One of those. Yeah, and exposed doll parts and like the scissors and stuff. It's just creepy. And then like the neck gives me like vaguely like miney vibes or the puro collars of um, France. I've got it paired with an off-brand blouse. I think you're supposed to wear, this is one of those ones where, um, I think it's technically an OP, but I wear it like a JSK because it's, I'm not comfortable with that level of shoulder showing. Lolita. So I've got it paired with like a, a thin blouse that doesn't have a lot going on under it, so it, it, it hides it nicely. Alright, and then next up, we've got a Disney and Angelic Pretty collab with Tangled slash Rapunzel. And I love it. I love the colors. This is kind of like, it gives me Magic Princess vibes where it's that... Disney castle, beautiful purples and pinks. Um, unfortunately, this is much too much short on me. I am 5'7", and this is much too much short on me. Uh, it's really, really short, really short. Like, I think it's not technically a Lolita dress, but my God, like, even if I wasn't in Lolita, I don't think I would be comfortable with this level of shortness. So I've got an underskirt, I'm gonna try to pair with it. Um, but more than that, it's how short the bust is that really gets me. Like, you would think with, this level of length of torso, it'd be okay. But I think on me, it comes up to me like, oh, well thanks. Um, about like mid boob and just the line doesn't rest anywhere nicely, unfortunately. Um, I might get this tailored. I know it's not an expensive dress, so it's kind of hard to justify tailoring it when it doesn't fit me, but I want it to fit me. All right, and next up, We've got Angelic Pretty Cameo Room. Cameo Room? Maybe. I love this. Uh, this is my only lavender dress. It is lavender and black. And it's such Beetle Juice vibes with the black and white stripes. Maybe Haunted Mansion vibes with the, the lamp. Oh my god, I just. <sighs> Furniture. It's so beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful furniture. Some teacups. Little cat. Little cat about to knock a box off of a, a table, like we all know that they do. And again, paired with a thrift store blouse because it was also lavender. And I didn't have any lavender tops up in my thrift store tops. Mm. Beautiful. I love it. 10 out of 10. Best colorway. Alright, next up, again, this is one of the ones I've had the longest, probably. This is Meta's Secret Laboratory in the green colorway. And oh my god, she is awesome. She is so stretchy in the back, full back shearing. Um, she's really comfy too, because it's made of the super silky blend. And it's this like laboratory of like books and like alchemist books. And then down at the bottom, we've got like witchy things happening with candles and cauldrons. Mm. Mm. Love it, simply love it. Oop. Falling off the hanger here. Um, and I paired it with a really silky gray lavender kind of top. I think it pulls in some of the gray lavender tones. 
on it. This is kind of like a lavender green dress. I almost have a second lavender dress. Almost. And there's a little cat hiding in the bookshelves. My favorite part is that on my bodice, you can see just half a cat face peeking out from behind a book. Amazing. Amazing. All right. All right. Another dream dress. The Maleficent OP collab with Alice and the Pirates, I think. Gosh, me looking for evidence of Alice and the Pirates because they always write their name over everything. Uh, it's not written anywhere, but I believe it is. And this one is, again, a Disney Lolita collab. And Maleficent is in purple, like she should be. I don't know why they made a blue one. She was never blue. She was always purple. Um, with some great, great motifs. There's a lot of um, purple flower and feathery, like, little details that came with. But I took all mine off because they were removable. Because it just, it was, it's the wrong shade of purple. It was like an orchid purple. Versus, like, this rich kind of royal purple. I didn't like it. But, um, I do have all the details if I ever sell it. Which I hope I don't. Because this was a dream dress. <sighs> And she's beautiful. Um, it's got ha sh sh shearing. I know it's said that way. Mm. I want to say shearing. It's shearing. I know I'm not shearing a sheep, but I want to say shearing. It's shearing. It's got shearing in the back, but it still feels tight as all hell. Um, this is one of the ones that I think I will actually get altered because I want it to fit more comfortably, and my boobies do not fit in this. This tiny, tiny dress. I mean, they fit if I like wear a sports bra and I can press them into almost nothing. And I hide them under my armpits. But we don't really want to do that. Um, next up, this is probably my most worn dress. This is Angela Pretty's Toy Drop. Um, I did do a long distance twinning with uh, Catherine. I did do a long distance twinning in this one. Um, I really, really, really love the way that one came out. Um, I feel like I have more experience than I did now, though. Um, I was able to find a stripy top from Forever 21. Second hand. I feel like it matches the pink stripes in the peppermint. With this one, because of its being in the black colorway, all the reds in the dress have been turned into pinks. I don't know why they did that, but they are. They're, it's all pinks. There's, like, no red. And um, it's amazing, though. I love it. Um, yeah, I'm definitely one of those Alitos who likes the black colorway of pastel prints because then it makes all the pastels pop. And I'm definitely in that category of like, I want to be a bittersweet Alita. Does it exist? Maybe. Maybe I can make it exist. Anyway, I'm in, I'm in that camp where I'm like, I like sweet and I like dark. I like sweet dark. All right, next up, this is actually, I put this with my Lolita dresses and I think it's Lolita in a sense, but it's not official Lolita. This is a Hot Topic dress that was done by American Horror Story and it's got a tulle overlay, over skirt, and then the underprint is all these like medical implements and like skulls and diagrams, it's really cool. And it's got kind of like almost a ballerina cut uh, in the front where it's a little sweetheart. Um, and I paired a simple off-brand blouse that's like silky underneath it to match. And I put um, a little medical pin on it that I found at a thrift store where it's a little nurse's cap and then bottle, needle, or temperature gauge and bandage. And I've worn this in a little little way and it really worked, I thought. Um, yeah, I like it. So it's the American Horror Story Hot Topic Lab. And I've got another one of them coming up, actually. Because I got two of them. And this is, I think, actually before I was into Lolita. But I knew of Lolita. And I looked at that and I thought, well, hell. I'm overexposed. Okay, so black is really going to throw off the color balance, ain't it? Hmm. Well, I looked at that. That beautiful bellhop JSK, as I called it in my brain. And I said, that's Lolita. It's got a little bit of a military vibe, a little bit of a bellhop vibe. Got this uh, top at Ross, and I still haven't worn it. But um, I thought it worked really well with the, the dress. 
Bellhop dress. Bellhop American Horror Story JSK dress. I'm gonna call Lolita. Please don't sue me. Um, and then next up, we've got Emily Temple's horror cookie. Mm. It's called something like that. Halloween party. God, balance, light balance, please. It's the black, it's throwing it off. Um, and it's tiered, it's really cute. All the cookies are like spooky, spooky cookies. We got a castle, we got a black cat, we got a pink ghost. Um, we got pumpkins. It's really simple in this design where it's, we got the tiered skirt part, right? Where it's like, oh, tier and then skirt. Um, and then a little bit of lace on the edge. But um, the top part of it's super simple. It's got like that zigzag rick rack, I think they call it, underneath. And then um, just a little pink bow. Okay. Very wearable. This is definitely one of my more wearable pieces. I paired it with like a princess sleeve top I found thrifting. Um, all of my tops, all of my top is where it's second hand or thrifted. I, can ju I can't justify the money on tops for some reason. It's like dresses I can spend hundreds on, but tops, no. Couldn't, that money could go towards a dress. I feel like that's very relatable content though. Um, next up, final main piece. Cutesy cutesy. Cotton candy shop by Angelic Pretty. And the black colorway is the best colorway, and I'll tell you why. You can actually see the constellations. You can actually see the purple gradient in the background. And it looks like mother flippin' Rainbow Road. I love it. This is like the cutest, right? The cutest. It's little cotton candies shaped like moons and bunnies and stars. There's just like a straight up sheep on that. I never knew there was a sheep on it. Well, I knew there was the big sheep down at the bottom. She's like having a good time, but um, yeah. And infinite details with the Lita. Um, got a paired with a thrifted Forever 21 top. That works perfectly with it. So this has been all my main pieces. They took a while, um, and there's more coming in the mail. Let me know if you want to see a part two, um, or um, you just want to see more of me.